Hello and welcome to the Matrix Gold 10 minutes video series. Today in this video we will be building halo rings with stones in the shoulders, accent stones, and we will be making different finger sizes, different gem shapes, different gem dimensions. So let's see how many we can get in just 10 minutes because the main uh, goal of this uh, video today is to have like a rings base that you can use later on. So I will go and I will save this uh, Halo collection. Okay, so I will start this project, Halo collection. All right, so let me start and let me put the timer on so we can keep track of the time. And I will start to to make a halo, I will start with the cathedral ring. So we have the cathedral ring here. And then on this cathedral ring, what I will do is attach a stone from the gem on ring rail. When we attach a stone on the gem on ring rail, this is zero, this is one. So the only thing that we need to do is just go to location and click on 0 0.5, add 0 0.5, and then raise it as high as we want. Okay, so like this, okay. We will get back later on on the cathedral. So uh, now the next thing that I have to do is just go and use the profile placer, profile placer, and I will get the second curve as outside curve, and I will change the profile. I would like to have something half round like this one, and I will do it taper. So I will add one here. I will do the mirror profile so I get it in the other side and then clicking on the shift I will just keep one in the middle and what I will do on that one is just make it a bit wider okay so now I can go to the sweep one and sorry the sweep two because we have two rails so sweep two one two and select all the profiles so I will get the sweep all right, now I need the bridge. So to do a bridge, what I will do is I will use the same uh, profile that I've, been, I've used in the uh, uh, in the shank. I will use this profile. All right, and I will just do something like this. One millimeter should be okay. And I will do the mirror. And now instead of sweep 2, I will use the sweep 1 to just select the rail and the two profiles. All right, so now we get the, the bridge. I will move the cathedral later on because it's parametric. As you can see, I'm building here all the different steps uh, because then I will adjust it to the, to the halo. All right. Um, let's go and use the halo. So solid, I will go to the gems, sorry, to the settings, and I will use the halo. And there we go. What I will do here is just go to the second tab from the halo, and I like to keep it a bit closer to the girdle, to the center stone girdle. Like this is perfect. And maybe what I can do is just give it a bit more of angle like this it's okay i will just go to the prongs and i will just drop the height the prongs so like this should be okay probably i would like to have a bit more of diameter so instead 0.5 i will go to 0.6 so i have metal surrounding the the stones and yeah I'm good to go now the next step will be the head for this gem I will go to the head and what I will do is just bring this up to here I'll move it a bit more Not that one, just this one. All 
Okay. And what I will do is just go to the rails and just remove the both rails. So we'll keep it like this. And I will put a bit more of an angle. So from the top, it's just matching with the wall that we have. I will drop this just a bit. All right. Now it's the time to go to the cathedral. Go to edit. And now I can just adapt it to what we have. I will add the stones, gems on curve. Okay, I will just make them smaller. And here in the gems placement, I will go to the table. And now what will be left is two steps or three steps from the cutters, the channel cutter. I will just do like this, then I will use the microprong cutter. I like it how it looks like, and we are now six minutes and we are almost done. And I will get this and I will use the jam cutters. All good. Now I will select the stones and all the cutters and from tools, sorry, from transform, I will do a mirror. Okay. And now the only thing that I need to do is just select from the solid, from Boolean difference, I need to select this and all the orange items that we have. I click enter. Now it's just doing all the operations. So we will be at seven minutes once the Boolean is done. So maybe seven minutes now. Let me see what we do, what we get. Okay. Probably I can edit the gems on curve and I can go to taper and, and make the ones at the very end a bit uh, wider. Okay. Perfect. So now we have the ring done. It took us almost eight minutes. From here, I can do a full save. So I have the one for the round. Now what I can do is just go to the gem on ring rail and change it to a princess. Okay. Now I can go again to the gem on green rail and I will do an oval. I can see that the cathedral is a bit far from the halo, so I just need to go to the cathedral and get it closer from here. Almost nine minutes. Perfect. I'll do a full save. So we already have three rings. And now what I will do is just 
make this one with the stone that I have here now is a uh, 6 by, I will go to the size list, I will change it to another dimension, 8 by 6. Okay, so we have half minute, half minute left. And the last thing that I will do is just go to edit and get this close up. I click enter. So five seconds to go for the 10 minutes. Let's see, 10 minutes. And it's just placing all the geometry. And I will save this one. So in 10 minutes, we have made like four different models from Halos. All right. so. As you can see, 10 minutes, 20. So that's just it's very, very small <clears throat> amount of time. And the cool thing about this is that now we can make any change to that. So we have done four different models that we can use as a base for anything. So we can change the, the finger size at any given moment, even the booleans and everything is done. I can go and now I just can change it to a number 10 and again everything will change to a number 10 and probably now what I will do because I have this collection of halos uh, and the cool thing about matrix hall is that you can uh, save all you see now it's number 10 of course that we probably need to adjust a bit because then from the moment that we change the interior circumference everything changes a bit but the only thing that i need to do is just to move the once the uh, booleans operations and everything is finished the only thing that i need to do is just to change, get it closer but it's matching pretty much what what i want so uh once i have this probably what i would do is uh i will go to my collections and i would create a new collection okay so I will call it halos okay and now into the halos collection I will I would start to save them okay so I would save this one this is the oval this was the oval 8 by 6 mm and save to collections. There we go. The cool thing is that once you have a few here, so now just say that I open the, the princess one. The cool thing about this is that when you do the mouse over, you have all the information about this model here. So that's very, very useful because uh, I know that all the designers that are looking at these videos, they have many, many different uh, models. So it's good in just one glance to have all the information that you need. So now again, with that one, I could do the same. I could go to here, start virtual, uh, sorry. Uh, just go to the halos, collections, halos, and add it here. And this will be the princess. And save to collections. So now, as you can see, I have all the information here that I need. All right. So anyway, I hope that you like it. Um, it has been a good exercise. Thanks for watching and see you next time.